Hello, welcome to the VR Cauldron. This video is about these, the Viture XR Pro Augmented Reality Glasses. This isn't a review just yet, because I'm still testing them, but something that I've struggled with over the past couple of weeks is how to get them working with your PC. So this video is all about how to get them working with your PC, but more specifically, how to get the Spacewalker app working on your PC. Because it's quite easy to get the screen on and get your monitor on there, but it takes a lot longer. Ugh. But it's a lot harder to get a spacewalker going. So the glasses come with this wire. This bit attaches magnetically onto the glasses and then that will plug into whatever device you want to put projects into the glasses. So whether it's a Steam Deck or a Switch or a something else or your phone. And just in case you don't know and you're somehow watching this video, the idea is you can be sitting down, you can have you looking on your phone, you can have a YouTube video, but it's projected in front of you as a giant screen, like you can see right now, simulated. The only way I can really show you is to film through the glasses, which I'll, I might have a go at for the review, but until then, this is the idea, this is what it looks like. If you want to connect it to a PC, you need USB-C inputs. The problem is a lot of PCs don't have USB-C inputs, and those that do often it doesn't output graphics. So you might have a USB-C input on your computer, you plug this in and it connects and everything, and then you can try and connect to Spacewalk, but nothing will appear in here because it doesn't give you any graphical information. So then you might think, okay, so I need HDMI. So then you might buy a HDMI adapter, and you'll plug in the HDMI, and then you'll plug the USB-C into the HDMI and nothing will happen, nothing will come on, and you think, ah, oh, it's because we've got no power. So then you might get one of these, which I purchased from Amazon, which is the HDMI connector connected to a USB-C. So now you can plug that into the USB-C, plug that into the HDMI, and it's got power. So you can plug a battery into that. What happens then is that you do get the image projected in front of you. It acts as a monitor. You can either extend it onto this or it can mirror what is already on your screen. So that's pretty cool. Only thing is where I sit, the screen that you get in the glasses is actually smaller than my monitor. So it's kind of pointless for me. But Spacewalker still doesn't work. And the way I got this working was this. This is the one I'm not using, because I've got two. One's HDMI and one's DisplayPort, and they both work. It's on Amazon. They're about $26.99 or $28.99 for the DisplayPort one and this by a brand called Wujisog, or something like that. And although it doesn't seem to tell you on the listing, and you might think, oh, if that thing doesn't work, this don't work, that USB-A connector actually takes data as well. So you can take one of these, plug it into either your DisplayPort or your HDMI, and then take the USB-A that is connected onto it, plug that into the computer into one of your standard USB ports, and this is what comes out, because I've got it already connected. The thing is though, that won't attach to that, because they're both USB-C male. Then you need one of these little USB-C couplers, because then you can plug one in there, and then one in there, like that. And when you've got the USB-A connected a little light will pop on to say, yeah, we've got some power. And weirdly, sometimes the light on the coupler doesn't come on, but it does come on when you turn some of the USB C's around. So now it's on, and now you can see my monitor's just done that funny thing, and now I've got stuff going on inside here, which you know what, I'm actually gonna try. Oh, it's following my face, it's following my face. Maybe I could put you over you. Oh, I can kind of, can I see it? I don't know. So I can see my monitor in there. It is just doing the whole projecting as a monitor thing, but if I open uh, Spacewalker, it will try to update it if you need an update. I'm gonna cancel that though. And it gives you all the different options. So you know it's working because you'll have all the options that we can see right now. And the monitor's doing the thing again. See, it does all that stuff. So if I go, uh, let's go display side by side, launch Spacewalker. And now I can look around and I can see the monitor in front of me and I can look along 
and it sort of stays in the same place. And then the great thing is you've got loads of different options in the, uh, the tray, the space walker, which allows you to move the display closer to you, further away, because some people have the issue of the top and the bottom display being slightly kind of out of the vision off the screen. And if that's a problem, you can move the display a bit further away so it's a bit smaller, so it fits. And you can do various other things. It's almost like looking at displays on a Quest 3. Not quite as good, but it's, it's interesting to play with. But yeah, if you wanted to get your Vitia Pro XR glasses working with your PC, that is what you have to do. We are going to do a full review of those glasses on this channel soon, so if you don't want to miss that, do subscribe. And until next time, play safe.